up everybody I'm Zach from the focus travel today in this video I'm gonna be trying some really cool foods coming up on the focus travel <laughs> Halloween and I decided I was going to do a video on some of the Halloween themed foods um, that I would try here in Japan and I found a couple of them. I went to this bakery and I found uh, two uh, ghost shaped um, Halloween desserts so that is really cool. I'll be trying those today later on. Um, I also have some other things from different places um, not really Halloween related. Uh, but I wanted to mix the two and uh, so here we go Okay, coming up at number one is the pork sausages and cheese roll Okay, so I have my uh, Basically cheese roll this thing is just saturated with cheese. This is a hot dog um, and it has um, a big uh, very thick sausage on it so this is the first time I've seen this is 7-Eleven um, and it's very very soft I, I put it in the microwave and the cheese is just it's covering this entire bun okay so I'm gonna give this a try I bit down into that, uh, particularly the sausage, the, the juice just squirted in my mouth. This is so good. Oh man, and then the cheese, wow. This is delicious. Mm. So what I just noticed is that there appears to be something like a bacon bit or bacon bits inside this. So it is very, very delicious. It actually reminds me of like a, uh, a hot dog that you would find on the streets. Just super fresh. It is um, very, very savory. And uh, this is just incredible. Okay, so coming up at number two is the pumpkin pudding. Okay, so I have my pumpkin pudding here. One of my favorite things about the October month is the pumpkin pudding. I love pumpkin pudding. I love pumpkin pie. Anything pertaining to pumpkin, I love. And I'm very grateful uh, to try this pumpkin pudding here in Japan. Um, I got this from the 7-Eleven uh, in Japan. And that's also where I got my hot dog. Um, so let's dig in. Got my spoon here. By the way, these are free. Um, you can even get chopsticks for free at these convenience stores. So um, nice. Okay, so here we go. So I've got some whipped cream on this thing. And then I've got a ton of pumpkin. I'm very excited. I love pumpkin. Here we go. Mm. Wow. That is so good. Mm. Pumpkin is just amazing. Mm. Now this sort of reminds me of a pumpkin pudding I had at a restaurant. Super fresh. It melted in my mouth. That's what this is doing right here. It is so good. Mm. And then this looks like it has like a, I guess a caramel flavor in the bottom of it. Um, as you can see, the, it's dark on the bottom. Um, it seems to be like either a chocolate or, or some kind of caramel. Let's try it. Mmm. 
That is a caramel. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That was delicious. Oh, that was so good. <clears throat> okay, so coming up at number three is the craft tea. Okay, so this right here is the craft tea. Um, it appears that it has um, a lot of, or basically a mixture of oranges, strawberries, uh, even mango, which, which is my favorite fruit. Um, so this is actually new. It even says new right there. So I got this at Family Mart here in Japan. And all these places are right next to my place. This is like one of the beauties of living right next to these convenience stores. You're less than a minute away. You just walk over there, grab some food, come right back and do your video. It's awesome. Okay, so I have a spoon here. This is a, this, these things can be a little tricky to open. Okay, so I finally got this thing open. All right, so basically you just pull it out just like that. And what a lot of people do, they just stab it in there and it's good to go. So I am gonna try this. All right, here we go. Mmm, wow. Okay, so you remember all those fruits that I uh, listed earlier? These are all in here. You can actually taste the fruit. Like you can take, you can taste bits of mango, bits of oranges. Um, wow, it's so good. Mm. Wow, that was a strawberry right there. Mm. That was so good. Wow. That was a mango. Oh, this is delicious. And it's very refreshing. Um, and I love these fruit drinks. They're so good. Mm. Wow. Okay, so coming up at number four is the lemon drink. Okay, so this is the drink. They just came out with this. Uh, Asahi uh, came out with this just recently and then it hit the stores. So I got this at Family Mart here in Japan and these are very, very delicious. They're uh, basically ciders, uh, but now they came out with a, a lemon flavor. So I am excited about trying that and that is what it looks like. Um, these bottles are really uniquely designed. Art is a big thing here in Japan. So let's try this. <clears throat> you can see everything rising to the top. Okay, let's try this. <clears throat> so it, uh, it tastes like a, I guess, like a, uh, like a cider lemonade. So just take, tr you, you drink your cider, right? And you put lemonade in it or put lemon in it. And that's what it tastes like. Um, so it, you can taste that cider, um, that flavor. Um, and then with the lemon in it, that's essentially what this drink is all about. So it's a bit unique. Um, you can taste the lemon like after the fact. It's not a bad drink. I, I like these kinds of drinks, the ciders. So definitely wanted to try it. Um, again, that's what it looks like. So when you come out to Japan, give it a try. There's a lot of ciders here in Japan and they're very, very popular here. Okay, so I have saved the best for last. Okay, so I got this at this bakery called Chez uh, Rockamere. Uh, it appears to be an Italian uh, business or company. Um, and so here it is, it's in Japan. 
and they sell a lot of bakery goods uh, and especially the theme uh, desserts during this time of the year. So it's Halloween um, and there's, there's a lot of different like characters being advertised. Um, but what I ended up getting was two ghosts. Um, so I'm gonna try the first one. That's gonna be number five, it's the white ghost. Okay, so this is the white ghost. Um, and you can tell it's in a pink sheet. Um, so that's pretty cool, right? It, it's amazing just how they, uh, and I'm talking about Japanese people, how they um, create these different kinds of food. So it even has a hat on it. It's a Halloween hat. I mean, he means business, doesn't he? So this is uh, um, very unique. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what's in this. I just saw it. Uh, actually, this right here. Um, is going to be unique. Um, so I think it has some kind of cream in it. Oh, it does. Wow. So it has a cream that, that is, uh, I guess, covered with this, um, this layer. I got to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take this hat off. Um, so this is the, the ghost, right? And then I'm going to uncover this. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best. Um, look at all of that. So you see the cream? That's cream underneath that. Okay, so I'm just gonna taste this uh, this this ghost uh, covering and just see what it tastes like. Mm. Wow, that is so good. So I gotta show you. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take off the the ghost. Uh, but really cool. I, I love these kinds of like um, characters and just how they do this. There's a lot of like sugar on this. Mm. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just eat this. Wow, it's a mess. Mm. Okay, so I have uh, another spoon here, but I got to show you like what is in this thing. It appears like, okay, so there's a strawberry. I've uncovered a strawberry. So let's try it. And this is whipped cream. So I got to show you, that's what it looks like. Look at that. And so this right here, it's got uh, some cream here. Look at that. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. This reminds me of like a shortcake with just a bunch of cream in it. Oh, it's so good. Wow. Mm. this is delicious and I have I'm going to show you this big strawberry so this is basically a shortcake with with a bunch of cream on it look at that that's a huge strawberry mm -hmm. this is amazing Okay, so coming up at number six is the ghost with the hat. Okay, so I have this ghost right here. Um, as you can see, there is, uh, it, it appears to have like a hat on him. Um, and then it's got um, a blueberry, perhaps representing the ear. And then it has a strawberry representing maybe the other ear. Um, but the facial expression shows that maybe he's a little shocked. Um, but the, the ghost itself is made out of whipped cream. And then there's a cream like below that. And it appears to be in a, like a bread. Or maybe like a sweet bread. So, 
This looks so delicious. Look at that. All right. <clears throat> so I don't even know where to begin. And I don't want to make a big mess. So I want to sort of put this in here in the box. Um, but I want to show you this. Like, this is actual. This is so cool. Like, look at that. That is so neat. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to begin with the strawberry. Look at that. Mmm. That is super fresh. All right, so I'm going to take this out. You do not eat this. All right, and then I got a blueberry. I'll show you. Look at that. Mmm. All right. I love how they do this. Like the, the art is just fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna take his hat off. And I'm gonna try it. This is bread. Mmm. This will melt in your mouth. This is so good. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna take a bite of this. Okay, so the, the yellow part, that is actually pumpkin. That is so good. So this has a ton of whipped cream. It's got a ton of pumpkin on top of a, a bread. Oh, so delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was just amazing. I'm so glad I tried those theme uh, desserts. Those are by far the favorite things I've tried um in this video so well today i tried six things i tried the um the sausage and cheese i tried the um the the two drinks i tried the asahi uh lemon cider and then i tried the uh the craft tea i also tried um the pumpkin pudding and i tried the ghosts uh, the two ghost uh, desserts and they were amazing so let me know in the video which ones would you love to try um, and which ones do you love or crave the most well if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more food videos drink videos ice cream videos and your travel videos here on the focus travel well that's going to do it for this video i'm zach and I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.